Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be my December birch box video and I'm just going to show you what I got and then at the end of the video I have a little tiny rant. So first things first, birch box is a sample program. You pay $10 a month uh, at birchbox.com and you get four to five samples every month and you get to try out things that you wouldn't necessarily try out um, regularly. So this is what the box came in this time. It's really pretty. I love it. It's so wintry and the card inside looks like this. This time they changed it up a little. I see that they're trying to make things as good as they can and also in here there is... I just dropped it so... Oh, I got it. What is this? It's a $20 off any full size order, $75 or more. It's our gift to you. So it's BBLove at checkout. That's the code. So thank you for that, Birchbox. I don't know if I'll be purchasing anything. I guess it would depend on the stuff I get. I opened this already. And the first thing I got was the Benefit Professional. This is what the sample size looks like. So it's definitely enough product to sample. And this is supposed to help minimize the pores on your face and I definitely need this because I'm still working on getting clearer skin for myself so I have some craters to fill in every single morning so I'm excited to see how this works with my skin the next thing I got is the Jouer lip gloss oh no yeah it's pink and I actually really love the other Jouer thing that we got the moisturizing lip conditioning treatment yeah so hopefully this is just as moisturizing um, it has a pink color which you know I'm not opposed to so I'm excited to try that um, the sample perfume that I got was Kate Spade's twirl came in that pinkish thing going on and here it is and it smells it smells very fresh what do they say about it here yeah fruity, floral, timeless. It smells clean. I like clean smells, so I'm definitely not opposed to that. I'll use it up and I don't know if I would buy it for myself, but you know, it's a sample. And the last thing I got is the Nukes Oil and it's a multi-usage dry oil shimmer and it actually has like little shimmers in it. I don't know if you can tell. And I don't know what's in the oil exactly. I think I can go and check it out but I can't imagine it's bad for you the funny part is I saw this on the website and I had already bought one but this is the clear one it's pretty much the same thing except it doesn't have the shimmers in it so I am definitely down with that especially for the fact that I bought this and now I get another one in the mail I like oils especially for my hair and stuff so I am good with that so I got those four samples in the mail and I actually got two extras like most of the boxes I've seen the first thing I got is the showstopper stuff and it's supposed to be for stickers to keep your dresses tucked and in place and um, these will definitely come in handy I'm not going to use them just because I want to try them out I'm going to use them when I actually need them and I actually have some fake lashes from Birchbox that I did I haven't used yet but when I need to use them I will and I'll let you guys know if they work but these are exciting I've always wanted to see if they would be able to actually like hold your dress up where it needs to be held and the other extra I got is a daily health booster and this is I guess here it says that it's supposed to boost your energy after uh, a night out. It's packed with citrus stuff, citrus energy, and mega dose of nutrients. So that can't be bad. I hope it doesn't taste bad. I hope it tastes good. But that's it for my birch box this, um, this time around. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit really quickly about products I got last time that I enjoyed or not. Um, I got the Oscar Blandy. Um, protein spray and it's down here now I love this stuff I put it in my hair right after I wash after I'm done washing my hair just as a little extra protein boost because protein definitely strength strengthens your hair especially since your hair is made up of protein next this I love the chlorine um, eye makeup remover stuff it takes off my makeup like that I love it I don't know what's in here but I always take my eye makeup off first before I wash my face just so it doesn't like get crazy but this has worked like a magic pill 
seriously I love this stuff and I think I am definitely gonna be reordering this I have some birch box points so that's probably what it's gonna go to next thing I love was the Zoya nail polish that I got I've never tried Zoya and I really like it it la I put it on my toenails and it lasted so long I'm really impressed with this and the longevity and the color payoff I only had to put two coats and it was like done probably could have stopped at one the other thing I got is this La Roca Shimmer Body Polish thing? And I use it all. It actually took me like twice to finish the whole thing. I did like what it did. Like it felt like my body was more moisturized. But I didn't like the smell. Like when the water hit the product, it smelled like apricots. And I'm not sure if I like that smell. It had some sort of apricot-y, minty smell, which I don't think I'm a fan of. I think I would like to try the other body shimmer, but... I don't know if I would actually buy it. And that's the point of a sample program, you know, you get to try out stuff. So, here's what I want to rant about. I'm, I'm kind of a little sick and tired of hearing people complain about Birchbox. I wrote some notes, okay? So the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that you have to remember what you're getting yourself into when you get yourself into these things. I know a lot of people who are saying um, they paid for a year subscription. I don't know why you would pay for a year subscription when you haven't even tried out the company and you don't know what it is. So I don't know, that's kind of your own fault. Secondly, um, just because every single person on YouTube or there are a lot of people on YouTube who get these things just because they say they like it doesn't mean that you might necessarily like it either like it's sample things are not for everybody which leads me to my next point it's a sample like it's not a full-size product you're not getting full-size products of these things you are paying ten dollars a month to get more higher higher end products to try out like it's a sample you're not gonna get a full-size product sometimes you will get lucky and get something big like this or like a good enough amount of oil and those are the perks but it says four to five beauty samples and a lifestyle extra maybe so that also means you can get only four things in your box like really they say four or five, which means you can get four. You don't even have to get five or extras. So that's why you really need to think about what you're getting yourself into before you get yourself into it. Another thing I've heard is um, how the products are so expensive that they couldn't even purchase it even if they wanted to. So why are you subscribed to Birchbox? The website is right there. You fill out your beauty profile. You go to the website, you browse the website, you see the products, you see the price ranges that they're in. It's not a surprise. Nobody tricks you to sign up for it. You signed up yourself. So don't act like you didn't know what the prices of the full-size products were going to be before you signed up because they were definitely still on the website and you could see them. If it's not in your price range and you know you're never going to use these things, then you just don't have to be signed up to it. I mean, I know there are a lot of people who just sign up just to try out the samples even though they don't plan on buying the stuff, and I have no problem with that. None. But I'm just saying, don't act like you didn't know, because you did. You knew. You're just complaining. So, I don't know what people's expectations are when they sign up for Birchbox, but please, if you're going to sign up for Birchbox, or you hear all these things about sample programs, if it's not worth the money to you, you might as well just go ahead and unsubscribe. I personally subscribe to this for a couple of reasons. The first thing is, I love getting stuff in the mail like this. I feel like I'm treating myself every, every month. That's a personal thing, and if I feel like it's worth my $10, then I'm going to do it. Number two... I subscribe to them because I really do want to try new stuff like I am sick and tired of drugstore stuff that I keep buying and not liking and then it sits here like if you guys I wish I could show you what my stashes look like like it's so much product and I feel like if I got to try these beforehand it would really help me make up my mind on whether I need to purchase a product or not and I'm, tr I'm starting to get into the, the point in life where I'm like, if I have to spend a little more money to get one item that I'm going to use continually, then I'm okay with that. Especially since cosmetics expire. And I don't want a whole bunch of expired stuff sitting around. I mean, it's a waste of money. 
If you feel like Birchbox is not the proper sample program for you, there are several other options out there like Voxbox. I think that comes with Influencer. There is Eco Emmy. There is New Beauty Test Tube. What are the ones? There are quite a few other sample programs out there. So you can just save all of us who do like Birchbox from the complaining. Like if you see, and I'm, I'm, you are entitled to not like a box. But that's kind of the point. Like, you're supposed to try out things and not like some and like some. So it's not going to be you're getting full-size products for $10. If that's what you think this is, then you need to change your expectations because that's not what the program is about. And I do like the fact that in the spoiler alert video this time, I noticed that they made sure that they clearly stated exactly what the program was about. You get samples. And another thing, let's think about the fact that they are not manufacturing these products. They reach out to other companies and the companies supply them with whatever samples they get. So when they get those samples, they give them to us. So I don't understand how you think they're supposed to manufacture products like I just I'm sick and tired of it there's so much hate in this community and I'm just not a person like that I'm like if you don't like it you don't have to watch the videos you don't have to like you don't have to subscribe to them you don't have to do anything with them you can just click off and be done with it and leave the rest of us who love our birch boxes to come every month to live in peace that's pretty much all I have to say and this is my channel and I could say whatever I want on it these are my thoughts and my opinions I love my birch box and I will continue to get it because I want to get it yeah that's pretty much it I'm not sorry if I offended anybody you know that's you guys personal problem but as for me I am always always satisfied with my birch boxes I don't necessarily like every single product in them but I have to say, I subscribe to it for a reason. Like, I am subscribed to Birchbox because I want to try out new stuff. And not everything's going to work out for me. Not everything is going to be a huge size. Sometimes they're going to be little because they are samples. You're not buying full-size products. I would say that if you want higher-end products and you want to see something for your money, go ahead and just buy the full-size product and spend whatever money you want to spend on it. Yeah. That's my advice to you. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or evening or whenever you watch this video. And I have a giveaway on my channel ending on the 18th, which is Monday of 2011, December. And you can check that out and subscribe and sign up if you want. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!